guys, Dan Bick with MySurvivalSpot.com. I shot this uh, rifle earlier and I mentioned the PBS-14 and I wanted to show you what this looked like. So the tube itself the on this thing is a blemished tube, okay? There's a small little dirt fleck on the uh, bottom left hand corner. It's not really in your field of view um, when you're looking through there, but um, there's a small little blemish on this tube. So I got the tube from a buddy of mine that fixes these things uh, in the civilian sector and he sent me that tube for a, for a ladder stand. I had a climber uh, deer stand that I traded him for that. Um, I got the objective lens and the eyepiece lens here on eBay uh, for about a hundred bucks and I paid I think 300 and something for the housing itself so I've got about 400 I guess maybe uh, in this but the tube which is the part that I got for free you're looking at 1500 bucks just for that uh, most of the time these things sell for anywhere between uh, two thousand to three thousand uh, dollars all in varying uh, degrees of that but I just wanted to kind of show you this this is top of the line stuff I just got really lucky with the friends that I've got uh, that I've made you know throughout uh, aviation and uh, the army itself that is my backyard through the window out the kitchen there's the pool out there let's go out here and take a look so here's pretty much what I see I can see a little bit out there but let's put the MVG up there that's the light coming in off the street and there's the palm trees Take a look at the moon. There's the moon and the stars. There's all the stars out that I can't even... Eh, I can see a few of them with the naked eye. But certainly not all of them. There we go. So that is MVG. This is a Generation 3 tube. It is aviation grade. Not perfect guys, but I'll try to line it up here. So you can see that the objective lens of the goggle is a little bit bigger than the scope itself. So what I've done is I've tilted that goggle a little bit out to the right side. And what that is going to allow me to do is look out that edge of that goggle with more light. Now any scope you look at is going to decrease the light, but right now I'm going to be scanning out the edge of the goggle, okay? And then when I am ready to shoot, I'll look at the center of the goggle, which is where that bright dot is over there, okay? You'll see that dot now, the green dot, okay? The little red dot over there to the right hand side is actually a blemish in the camera itself. But the, the bright green dot is the aim point of the rifle. So I'll scan out the right edge of the goggle. Let's say I'm going to shoot that palm tree right there that we can see. Bring it over, and now I'm shooting the palm tree. There's the base of the palm tree, there's the leaves of the palm tree. Move it right back. I can look at it again. It's just a two times magnifier, a 2x magnifier in that in that uh, scope with the green dot. So looking over there at the pool steps, slide it over, take the shot. That's the, the theory anyway. <laughs> 